Listen to that, T-Lopes music. And then, this is not T-Lopes, I don't think. <laughs> this, uh, this sounds like a T-Lopes song. I don't know what you're talking about. They, re they released this one and showed who the composer was. Oh shit, they did do that, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> Let me look it up. But I really love this level. Um... I Act two has a dumb train gimmick, but other than that, it's still fun. Uh, I I like the second act. Uh, some people are mixed on it, but I will say that outs this is easily a contender with Carnival Night for my favorite uh, casino style level. Mm -hmm. Because lately, I especially with the recent recording I did. Oh, well, it's not even recent anymore, is it? That was almost a year ago. Yeah. With the recording I did for Sonic Three. I was really enjoying Carnival Night. Mm. But I really enjoyed this one out of the bag. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. So, this um, is definitely I, one of my favorite levels of the game. I'm a bigger... I'm definitely a big fan. I've said this in all the other classic games of the, uh, the pinball-based stages, and this is no different. I think Act 2 does, other than the train gimmick, does have some, like, cheap obstacles but other than that i still find it a very fun zone i don't think the train's uh, that bad i'm not talking about the train i'm talking about when you're in one of those circle things that you rotate around and then you press jump to get out of some of them fling you right at those switches that t change where the fire is coming from and act oh yeah <laughs> and that launches you straight into the fire that you, you just activated you have to memorize it it's called replay value in Sonic 2 it's called shitty enemy placement so it's called replay know. value okay in Sonic 2 <laughs> it's shitty because no matter how many times you play Metropolis you're gonna get hit by the same shell crackers yeah. and the same fucking enemies and this though I feel like you can dodge it yeah for this, this level this is closer to advanced 2 for me for this level but in uh in other stages um <clears throat> pre press factory you're just gonna get hit. <laughs> yeah, press factory's not that bad. You're wrong. <laughs> if you get hit more than uh, ten times, that's how I do. I'm like every time I play these games, I'm not that good. <laughs> yeah. Well, then you can't say anything about improving, because <laughs> you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I don't improve on getting hit. I I improve on something. <laughs> but I don't know which dude I love this act and it's already fucking over <laughs> <laughs> it is a short one though I say that but then I think I would hate this act if it was like five minutes long with this I don't know oh well we got the next act coming Yeah, we got more dude I just didn't better. get the uh, at first I I'll save it for when we get to act two I guess but uh, I, this boss, this, this part here was stupid when I first played. Well, that's why you do yeah. this. <laughs> well, you know, I oh, didn't do that. Real quick, I love that, I love, I love that animal. I fucking hate I, this pig. He's so <laughs> gross looking. Dude, the first time I saw it, I had to do a double take. <laughs> and every time I look at him, I just love him. <laughs> I know great. the, I, I know Porky, the little pig, has uh, actual hands, but this thing looks fucking terrifying. He <laughs> doesn't great. blink. I love it. He doesn't blink. <laughs> He's just endlessly staring with his, like, He's greasy the real stares grippers. The abyss. His greasy grippers are just, he wants to grab you. <laughs> I love him. I hate him. He's great. <laughs> He's also like really. He also just poly. fucking rolls across the battle, uh, across the uh, field when you're done. Holy shit! So load dumb. times on <laughs> Xbox One suck. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! In part one, I edited a lot of them out, but in this time, this time I just I kept them all in yeah. because I felt like okay. I had to make a point. So. I want to say something. I was gonna say this earlier. At first, I didn't get the trains. Uh, the roller I coasters. Kept whatever i i didn't get them and that's the thing and i for like the uh, the first few deaths were just me getting on the train and then trying to jump off near the end thinking that's what i had to do but clearly there's nowhere to jump to and if you do that you just die yeah it was these switches <laughs> special stage yeah that's an easy one um i 
actually didn't know about it until I went here. I just happened I happened mm. to see the uh, upper path, so I was like, oh, that's gotta yeah. be something. Yeah, there's always I th- I feel like a lot of the stages in this game have like that very clear secret quote unquote secret path at the start that uh you know if you go there you'll find a special ring or something sort of like uh, launch base where if you just go down on that rotating tube you'll find a special stage right at the start. Yeah, I'm just gonna say I think the targeting on some of these special stages is kind of busted. I I don't I don't get they have to be well in front of you. Yeah, I don't get why the priority... It feels like the priority on the emeralds is lower than the rest of the switches. Yeah. Because if there's a switch next to the emerald, I'm more likely to get to that switch. It's really weird. And then you swing the wrong way because the emerald fucking jukes you. You yeah. only just now got the fucking water one. <laughs> what do you mean? This is the fourth stage. I feel like I got this sooner. This is the fourth I... stage. You, you you can't get it. This is the earliest you can get it. No, you can, in the extra character acts, you can get more emeralds in those. I got an emerald in Sonic's Oh, well, act. I didn't know. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Then um, I guess I didn't find jungle. any in Speed Jungle. I found it because I got a, the emerald in the character act. Oh. Anyway, well, Spooky you, Zone. Then you probably could have got an emerald... In the stage, this this part right here is finicky because if you wait too long on the uh, the bumper, you just slide off. But it's really as hard you to can get see, that. yeah, <laughs> as you can see, yeah, see, you just did it. <laughs> if you wait like to the very edge, he just slides off. But you need to wait to the very edge to press it to get the yeah. timing right. Yeah, the timing's a little different from the classics, but that's okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I just Except keep that doing this. Is really this. hard to hit. <laughs> Yeah, I just keep doing this until... Oh, yeah, that, that works. I don't um, really get the blowing up Eggman's tower thing. This, uh, I might change my mind later, but this might be my favorite <laughs> track in the game. Uh-huh. I like this music a lot. I do like this theme. I don't uh, know if it's my then, favorite track. Also, they, brought, they finally, finally did another uh, haunted sta- stage theme. Oh. And I'm so happy. Yeah. I, I was really I, hoping they would do that in this game, and they actually did it. I know uh, in the uh, in, I know in the uh, expectations video we made for this, or the first impressions video. Yeah, I know that was one but, of the things I was requesting. So, thank you, Sega. Yep. You make me happy. Uh, also, yep. the bad Nicks are wearing capes to dress up like ghosts, yeah. and it's amazing. <laughs> Not only did they put splats in this game, which everyone goes crazy whenever splats appears, they also gave him. Uh, ghost cape and it's adorable yeah what do you you know we're ta- we're talking about the uh the level theme here but also the bagniks what did you think about the fact that uh this game reuses badniks from other stages like the classic games don't necessarily do that all the classic games have a unique it's the same set as of, mania uh... no all the mania stages have a unique set of badniks I'm sure talking about like the the crab meat appears in like every level in this game. Yeah, if oh, uh, no, no, no. there we go. Hi, Amy. <laughs> she just watched a freaking robot die. She threw a hammer at it. Oh, you can't do that in the game, freaking. No, but it's a cute animation. I love it. You can do it in Origins. If you get Isn't super that Amy. What hyper Amy does, yeah. Yeah. I I heard a lot of people don't like her. Her hyper in, uh, or whatever. Or, it, it's it's kind of it's lame, yeah. She doesn't have like a one of those uh, screen uh, clearing yeah. abilities that uh, Sonic and Knuckles have as Hyper Amy. It's also not Knuckles Hyper has a, Amy. Cre- a screen clearing ability. Yeah, Sonic's air dash is a screen nuke. I'm talking about Knuckles. Knuckles gliding into a wall is a screen nuke. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it, it causes like a big shock wave. Well, it's not a shockwave, it just vibrates the screen. But, yeah. Fire! Yeah, Yeah, these do get annoying after a bit. (laughs) Yeah, I I don't think the stage needed those. (laughs) I'll be perfectly honest. Yeah, it doesn't ruin the stage for me at all, but I can get it if people don't like it. Yeah. There's just, like, I think a thing with this game... We got the shake eye. 
Yeah, the Sheikah eye. Sheikah. It's Sheikah. Sheikah. It, it's Sheikah. <laughs> In Japan, it would be pronounced Sheikah based on the spelling, so I'm calling it Sheikah. I'm sure there's an interview where Al Numa says how it's pronounced, so. Meh. And all the Zelda fans are nerds and they all say Sheikah, so. I trust them. <laughs> yeah, I don't trust Zelda fans. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you just trying to be on that uh, edgy antagonist. Guy. But Shut uh, up. everybody knows podcasts do well if people disagree and argue. So argue with me, damn it. <laughs> we argue plenty, God, for God's sake. But anyway, <laughs> I was gonna say when we were talking about the fire things, uh. There's a lot of gimmicks in each of the stages in this game that I just feel like don't fit with, with the stage theme. It's like they had a gimmick and they just uh, threw it into a certain level. Like, the Sky Temple has pinball, like, super breakout <laughs> gimmicks. Yeah, that <laughs> and, was uh, weird. I like it was weird. Um, By the way, trying to think I don't more. want to fully interrupt you, but can you fully destroy that statue? And does um, anything happen? I, I, does it not just automatically get fully destroyed at the end of the stage? It I does, guess. but every time you launch off missiles, it knocks off one of those lights. So I'm, I'm just curious if that does anything. Oh, uh, I don't. Maybe it's an achievement. Ah, <laughs> you're. F oh, oh my God. <laughs> Lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> I play. Oh Castlevania. yeah. Also, I Sonic. Know how to use the knockback. <laughs> Sonic fucking Rider sound effects, by the way. I, when know, the, I don't play enough riders. I, when I the know. roller coasters are about to explode, they start beeping, and that's the same beeping from riders when you're running out of air. Hmm. I heard that, and my brain just was like, no, that's wrong. That's not classic Sonic. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up. I'm not complaining about it. I Generations love getting... was still a better attempt at 3D classic Sonic, though. Like, Heroes. they took a lot from Generations in this, except for the part that made the 2D sections the coolest. You know, dynamic camera angles. Yeah, that, I... always I... wondered why, when Sega wanted to transition him to 3D for this, I feel like mm. that was one of the advantages of being in 3Ds. You could do stuff like that. Okay. And this, well, it I'm... just feels like they're trying to be Mania. I'm gonna attribute that to um, the fact that uh, they were porting the actual classic code into this, and the actual classics don't do that, so that probably would have fucked up with the physics in some way. And I imagine I if they know, ever make us, like, I if imagine you make it on, if you make it because like generations runs on rails the whole time, so it still plays out 2D, but the camera can change. Yeah, but something similar, or even something similar to like what Metroid but Red did. That game this. was built for that because it's just using the Unleashed 2D engine. This is, I understand why they didn't do it here because that probably would have fucked up with physics. But I do think if they make a sequel to this game, they'll probably try something like that, yeah, and it'll probably, sure. it'll probably break uh, physics. No, yeah, I've I've fully destroyed this. It makes like a big explosion. That's I guess you gotta do enough damage then. Yeah. But um, yeah, like I think they're gonna try something like that in the next game. If I had to guess, and I bet it'll break the physics in some stupid way. So <laughs> it can't be that hard if you just leave them on rails and still move them like a two D section. I don't know. I don't know how that is to program. They would have to change it to where pressing left and right accelerates Sonic along a spline rather than just in the the fucking X axis. Uh, and the rotations might cause some issues with the physics calculations. Stuff like that is very easy to fuck up. I mean, if some of the up. physics are messed up a little bit, but it's still a cool and dynamic game, that's fun. I'd accept it if it wasn't one to one, but yeah, like it, like that. I agree with that. So I don't that's think... why I still enjoy classic Sonic and Generations. He may not be the full original physics, but what's well, there is well designed. Classic Sonic and Generations just doesn't play like classic Sonic at all. But I think it does a good job on its own, trying to make its own 
version of 2D Sonic, and I mm-hmm. think it's a fun gameplay on its own. But uh, yeah, like I don't need classic Sonic games to like if they're going for the whole physics thing. I don't need them to control one to one like Sonic Three, Sonic or Man- Sonic Mania, or whatever. I love how that controls, but like I'm also thinking like this game controls pretty close to that, but there are some key things that are not the same. Like Badnik bouncing is not as high, but Badnik bouncing is also just not useful in this game in general. So you know, like if the game is designed around the physics they make for it, I, I don't mind it being slightly different, but as long as I get the same feeling of like building my speed, that sort of thing. Um, Let's talk about the zone real quick. This might be one of the most boring looking zones I've ever seen. Yep. I do not like the aesthetic of this. This is it's the just level boring. I'm this is the level I'm talking about when I'm like, this is like a mobile game. <laughs> it's. I think all the rest of the levels look fine for the most part. It's just this one. Like mm-hmm. going. How did we get from the first from like Bridge Island, which has a lot going on in its background and looks way more dynamic? How did we go from that to this? Such a plain this, look. This just looks unfinished to me personally. <laughs> like, it kind of does. It also just has very little to do for its levels yeah there's just nothing going on it's and then the and then act two is like they did the thing where you know act one is not underwater at all but act two is like a hundred percent underwater almost (laughs) yeah but it's the it's the only zone where you're actually underwater and can use the water ability (laughs) yeah which is so fucking weird because it's so like that's such a good way to make a water level fun. Is like it is. Sonic the ability. It's to actually swim. a fun ability, and it works great in that level. But it's the only level. That's why I love Aquarium Park in uh, in colors because Sonic can just fucking swim in that. <laughs> yeah. Why wasn't there more art like this? Like this looks great. I like this. There's character to it. There's stuff going uh, on. But what is know. the rest of the stage? I don't know. <laughs> and the fucking Amy's. Amy's hero level sucks. Yeah. Because of it. Because it's more the bland design. The multiple paths don't feel rewarding. There's several areas with platforms you can jump on that lead to absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. And then it's like a six minute or seven minute stage, I swear. Yeah. It... And if it yeah, was, and then yeah. you get the whole trip. If it was cut in half, it. I like the trip part. That's like the best part of the stage. Yeah. But everything else goes on for like five fucking minutes before you get to the trip section. And it suddenly becomes interesting again. You know, sorry to cut you off here, but like these guys' antics remind me a lot of Scratch and Grounder, and I wish Scratch and Grounder were in this game. <laughs> that I'm would okay, be hilarious. That would be hilarious, but... Imagine like a too. quadrio of fuck-ups. Like that, a quartet, I guess I should say, of fuck ups. Yeah. That would be hilarious. But I don't know. I don't think we'll ever see Scratch and Grounder again. <laughs> By the way, I don't know. I've been looking at a lot of opinions of this game. And it, it, it's kind of funny. It's kind of the reverse of a lot of previous games where all the older fans and people who grew up with the Genesis game seem to actually really like this one and found a lot to enjoy. Versus newer and younger fans, like people who grew up on early three on some of the early 3D games or even on Unleashed, don't like this game very much. Okay, well, also you gotta think a lot of like the old school base thinks Sonic CD is like this holy grail of classic Sonic. Uh, <laughs> like before they re-released it, they were like, ah, oh, this is the lost, uh, true Sonic Four. You know, that, that sort of thing. Uh, mm-hmm. So, like, I, I can understand if you, like, love Sonic no, CD. I don't want to go down here. I want to go back up, damn it. <laughs> if you love Sonic CD, you'll probably get a lot out of this game. I like Sonic CD, but it's definitely not my favorite. <laughs> like, nowhere near well, as good as Well, at least Sonic CD gives me. you reasons to explore, even if collecting the time stones ruins it. Mm-hmm. But this game doesn't really, because you can find a single special ring before they all turn blue. 
So you can't even get rings out of it. Which I personally liked a, a bit more than what they did here. Yeah. Because you're oh, just yeah. playing the same special stage again, but this time to collect yeah. points. That, that, that really, I agree there. That re actually really hampered my enjoyment of these stages because the exploration, like the stuff you can find, isn't as exciting. It's like finding a special stage ring after you've collected all the emeralds. Well, when you're, when you haven't collected all the emeralds, it's like really exciting because it's like, oh, I get another shot at the special stages. But in this game, uh, you don't get another shot at the emerald if you, f uh, well, if you got the emerald, then yeah you you're fine but if you get the emerald in a stage they all just become basically mini games for coins instead of you know more chances at chaos emeralds mm -hmm. and then once you get all the emeralds they all just turn blue and then all the the emeralds are just uh that coin bonus game and i hate i don't like it i don't i don't like that at all yeah i will say though i showed it off like once in the first video and that's probably all you'll ever see, but I do like the return of the Sonic 1 special stages. I think those are yeah. actually a lot of fun to play. I really enjoyed mm -hmm. those. The tweaks to the physics there are actually good. <laughs> yeah. He's way more weighty. You have a significant amount of more control. You can fall faster. They just removed the momentum physics from it. <laughs> mm -hmm. it, yeah. it just, yeah, it feels so much better for what those are. So I like yeah. this a lot. It makes it easier to get the special item if you get all the rings in one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, which I don't know if any of you know what that is, but you actually you get like a knight's robot for the battle mode. Oh, and I didn't know that's how you got it. I saw you could get that, though. Yeah. Metal knights is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and I fucking, I think, I, I like to think that Eggman had a dream and he went to Nightopia and saw knights and no, that's where he got the idea. No, he was gambling at Casinoopolis. Ah, right. See, I like to think though that And now everyone... I like to imagine Eggman in the slot machine like Sonic rolling around. Yeah. <laughs> you can't tell me you wouldn't want to see that. <laughs> I think yeah. you're supposed to move those carts there, but yeah. I didn't want to do that. I don't know what's down in the water, if there's a level design down there, or if it's just a pit. <laughs> but, Good uh, question. I don't think I've ever been underwater on this level. so Neither have I. I so. well, if anyone yeah. has, let us know. Oh no, nope. how am I supposed to get that? Whatever <sighs> could I need? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> oh, it's the fat ass in armor. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> she's heavy. That's she's a fat ass. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she's not a fat ass. I love Trip. Trip is great. Um, I love her There's... idol animation when she puts the hat back on. Yeah, I think they could have done more with the fact that she's a fucking lizard with her design, because she kind of just looks like I don't know. There's only one specific type of animal creature they can have. <laughs> and that's what she fits. Well, I mean, uh, I was saying, like, I just thought, like, her, like, nose thing could have been better. Because it's just, like, like Sonic's nose, but red. When SPO yeah. has a fucking horn. <laughs> I am glad, though, she has a design under the armor. Because yeah. I don't uh, like her I, armor I, They design. advertise. I like it. But I didn't at first because they announced a new character. Okay, how are you supposed to not get hurt here? Uh, you're supposed to just keep moving when you hit the switch, and you'll be in between two fruits. <laughs> you see, though, every time I try to get acceleration, I just get hit. And I got real lucky there. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Trip dies, too. <laughs> um, but yeah, they, they announced that they had like a new character designed by Naoto Oshima. And then and it was I just look, this. I trip the sun gazer. I'm like, oh, what the fuck is this? Is it like a she's, robot? I don't know what this is. She's and wearing I finally armor. played the game, saw her actual design. And I was like, okay, this is good. How did I not get hit there? That was on top of me. I was inside. It of was, that. it was Trip's model. Doesn't count. <laughs> good. <laughs> but yeah, if you get to the uh, end of this level without getting hit, and you got a lot of fruit, then. Uh, this whole area is just full of fruit, and you get an achievement, so... Oh, I lost all my fruit because I died. Yeah, I know. But if you get hit, you also lose your fruit, I'm pretty sure. No. You may lose some, but not all of it. 
So I had over 100 when I died. I just know that it took me a couple tries, and the only try that I got it was when I didn't get hit. So. <laughs> also, kawaii ne. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, I wanted to mention this earlier. I've been replaying this game the past week using some mods, and it's amazing what just zooming the camera out just a little bit does for this game. <laughs> like, I was super... I was just so into it. Like, I was... Like, all the other classic Sonic games, I was like, wow, I'm, I'm having fun. I'm exploring. I want to I wanna do more in these levels. You know, that sort of thing. I think and, Generations was a lot more zoomed out than this. Yeah. And I think because it's a 3D game, they can definitely get away more with zooming the camera out. Also, I forgot about that message. <laughs> I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> I need bad. to write like a note on that. Just put a For black the love bar of God, don't it. say the name that was on there, or I'm going to have to censor you. I just uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> just put a black bar over it. It's fine. That's but, what I'm um, going to do, but don't say the name. Or it's going to make it more complicated. I don't even remember the goddamn name. I wasn't looking at it. I just ignored it. <laughs> I pay attention to you. Ugh. Okay, so one thing. Uh, th yeah, the fucking magnet shield is not a shield. <laughs> you, yeah, you it's get not fucking a shield. Hit. It's just a magnet effect. Which is stupid. <laughs> It's like Sonic Rivals see, all over it's, again. It keeps the shield. It makes the shield useful. But yeah, you can actually stack. I mean, them, I still agree cool. it's better in Mania, but you can yeah, actually stack the is... magnet shield and the uh, the regular shield in this. I don't know if it was shield. intentional. Because it's not a shield. It's just a magnet. Yeah, but I don't know if that was even so intentional because it felt I, like a I glitch when I did it. I'm you sure guarantee it is. It is. That's such an easy thing to fix. This isn't something. Yeah, to you know all what else again. is easy to fucking fix? Drowning in air on this level in co op. <laughs> I've never played the co op, so I don't know. <laughs> There's so many clips of this stage where everyone's just fucking drowning, even though they're out of the water now. <laughs> That's hilarious. Go! <laughs> so, yeah, apparently they can ram into each other. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a fan of this level. Uh. <laughs> I yeah, love the music. The music is, is the fucking one... good. Because this is the one level with the water with the uh, water ability, you don't get time to practice, and this is actually kind of hard to navigate in with the water ability. Yeah. So you those need fucking a lot of sea urchin. Those like sea urchin. I feel urchin like I'd badniks. like it more if I replayed it a ton, but I haven't replayed it a ton. Those sea urchin badniks are fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> the, the only way they die, I think, is if you're invincible and you jump into them, or if they collide with each other. Uh, okay, we've never brought this up. I'm going to interrupt you now. What the fuck is this, and why is it here? It's a shortcut. It, 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 it only moves you... Usually it only moves you, like, five seconds into the future. Uh, normally... Normally it actually goes like up or down, so it can put you on a higher or lower path. I don't but know. It's just such the weirdest forward. thing, and I don't know why it's here. Like, I don't think there's any lore of what the North Star Islands are supposed to be, other than they have dragons. So why does no. that mean there's interdimensional portals? There's I don't know, it's no, just so bizarre that it's here. There's no fucking. Why? Why is there fucking super breakout on the Sky Temple? <laughs> yeah, this... Like this game doesn't make any fucking sense. You know, yeah, at least Sonic sad. Frontiers explained why there's a pinball stage. <laughs> okay, well, I didn't need that, to be honest. It was funnier. Yeah, I'm gonna stop laughing about that. It was okay, much funnier. Fuck, fuck, when... fuck this stage. I uh, hate no, it. No, just go to the outer edge on the high one, because it's I've about to go. That. I tried that. I do that like twice in this fucking video, and it doesn't fucking work. No, just Look, stay on that why, why cannon right there. Connecting? Because you're not close enough. <laughs> you're fucking falling. I am closer you... to that than any of the other fucking things I'm connecting to. No, you're it's not. So broken. The emerald is a massive. You think you're closer, but you're not. No, the emerald it's just sucks. I don't like that, these. It's master emerald sized. Shut up and let me bitch. <laughs> this one, like, I was confused about it at first, but you just gotta stay on the fucking one cannon, and it works. 
So, get fucked. No, it's just fucking stupid. This is not the cannon you need to be on. <laughs> Uh, you need the rings. Fuck. So apparently you can't <laughs> connect or uh, attract them like that. So that's stupid. You didn't touch them. Shut up. You have to touch them. Shut up! I'll touch you, boy. <laughs> no, you fucking won't. <laughs> Take that as you will, internet. <laughs> I got that one on my second try. So I'm... shut the fuck up. No one cares. That's the hardest one in the game. Wah wah! Shut the fuck up! You yeah, suck we'll see Sonic. if I have to edit. We'll have to see. We'll see if I have to edit it in like Sonic Three and K. Have you not gotten it yet? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> what do you mean you didn't replay all the levels until you got the emerald for that level? Yeah, I, in hindsight, I should have done that and then edited in that entire level. Yeah. Anyways, well, yeah, I no, love this song. This song is beautiful. T. Lopes did amazing work on this. <laughs> yeah. T. Lopes obviously just has all the best songs in this game. Usually. There's some good ones from other people, but... Like the Pinball Carnival stage. Um, yeah. Honestly, I'll kind of say it. That song's kind of mid. You're wrong. It's very Sonic CD, though, which is neat, but, like, the low-key version of Sonic CD instead of the more bombastic stuff he does. Yeah. I still I like, like it, it's just a... Um, and what, what I soundtrack think there are songs in this, in this game. What soundtrack do you, does everyone say is, like, one of the best Sonic soundtracks? It's a Sonic CD soundtrack. Doesn't mean I say it's one of the best. <laughs> Well, you're wrong. I I fucking love Tidal Tempest in that game. What the fuck? You're swimming in the air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Fun. So on my replay through, I think the camera mod fucked this stage up a little bit, but um, the uh the the level geometry here didn't load, but the collision was still there. So I was just fucking bl going blind. Through this Anyways, whole boss. if you play this right, you don't have to really jump for anything, and you can just use emerald abilities the whole time, and it's great. What the fuck? <laughs> Physics are going wonky. Oh, you got you lucky bitch. <laughs> you that last little <laughs> burst. Yep. <laughs> All right, yeah. It's gonna use happen this a lot in this thing. playthrough. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you make the bosses your bitch. Use the emerald powers. They're there for a reason. It still took longer than any classic Sonic boss. Shut the fuck up. It took <laughs> as long as Mania bosses. No. Mania bosses you can all fucking do fast as shit. If you have, like, good skill. So. Mm. Alright, where are we going next? Sandy level, that's right. Sand Sanctuary, because the snake is all the way the fuck over here. <laughs> this is a really fucking big snake. <laughs> yeah, it goes through this entire zone and it goes all the way back to Lagoon City. <laughs> Which, by the way, is not visible anywhere in Sand Sanctuary. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Though on that mural, the snake is like wrapped around the entire mural, if you look at mm -hmm. it. Uh, so maybe it's like just around the entire island. Maybe it's that fucking big. Look, they brought back the scorpion robots. Yay. Yeah, this is like a a good like Sandopolis stage, but it also has random fucking gimmicks that I don't understand or hear. Like these fucking... Why are these dash things here? Yeah, I don't know what these are. <laughs> and they, they don't even carry your momentum. You can just change your direction whenever you want. It's so weird. Ember powers, activate. Yeah, this is the only way you're going to get any uh, Chaos Emeralds in this fucking place is if you use it the burst. Ah! I think there might be something to the left there. But, uh, nope. it's fine. I love uh, the song in this level, too. Anyway, yeah. As someone who likes the original Standopolis for what it is, 
this and the upcoming Press Factory made me happy. Press Factory is ass. <laughs> <laughs> Orbanaut. Oh, shut up. These are Orbanauts are wrong. These are the green ones. They're not supposed to throw their shit. <laughs> Yeah, these uh these Orbanauts are terrifying. <laughs> because you don't have an insta shield, their stuff yeah. comes back, and they're way more aggressive, I swear, from they are in Sonic One. In Sonic One, the the Sometimes red Sometimes you can just hit them though and not get hurt. It's yeah. really yeah, it's kind it, of it has the it has the uh Sonic two boss. No, uh, I still can't kill him. It has the Sonic 2 Metropolis Zone boss mechanic where if you time your jump perfectly, you can actually hit them. Uh, also, oh yeah, those, fuck uh, this the... special stage ring. You just fucking fly over it and you can't get it because you use your Emerald powers. Say goodbye. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We're getting this. We're getting this. Trust me. Trust me. We're getting You're this. going back and getting... Oh, We're getting this. Oh, We're getting God. it. <laughs> We're getting it, boys. <laughs> Go up. Up, up, up. Yeah. <laughs> you can also just get over that loop-de-loop, -loop, I think. Instead of nope. having it launch you. Nope, this was easier. I don't know about easier. Alright, time to not get this emerald. Oh, you no, get to watch God my sakes. failure. How many times are we going to watch this fail? <laughs> don't worry about it. So you just straight up don't get the green emerald by the end of the game. <laughs> You know what happened with the seventh Super Emerald of 3NKs, so. And I have to re record the entirety of Death Egg and the and final boss. You are somehow avoiding every fucking cannon. That happens a lot. That cannon just popped in. Sonic Frontiers. I hate these. We. Yeah, just stay over on the edge where you were. No, go back. I can't go back. This camera sucks. You can. Just hold down on the D-pad or the analog stick. It's that fucking easy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. You're not going to get it being in the middle here. So why are you still in the middle? <laughs> it only goes around the edge. Uh, God well, damn it. Lock You've... on already! Fuck! Why? Well, it's screwed. I hate this. I Rings! Hate this. <laughs> I hate this so much. Dude, I fucking yelled. Have fun with the, the audio file there. Hopefully I don't jump scare you while you're editing. <laughs> I was yelling too. It will sound the same for both. You think I'm going to be at this section? Yeah, why not? I edit the beginning... Add Skip the fucking to the end to make sure it's still synced. Add in the uh, the post the post commentary wallpaper, and then I render. Add in the Benny Hill theme to that special stage. <laughs> <laughs> I could. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was gonna add breakthrough at all somewhere, so we'll do it there. What's the funniest boss in this game? The funniest boss. Yes. The worst boss. Uh, it's probably one of the uh, final bosses. But no, uh, what's funny? The funniest boss. Um, I really, I don't know. I don't. I, I didn't like any of the bosses. None of them were funny. <laughs> I should have. I gotta edit. There's Shit. a clown. If we didn't put the. Uh... <laughs> yeah, well, I've already passed that, and I passed the fucking pig. And I could have put breakthrough at all when the pig appeared. We're recording the part now. You can fucking add that shit in and yeah, post. Yeah, but we don't. I don't have a reaction. You just want to distract from the damn commentary. Because Sonic Superstars, Sonic Superstars can't stand on its own two legs. We gotta I bring in Frontiers. We gotta bring in Frontiers commentary. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't say that. No. Ah! <laughs> Five kind of Nights right. at Eggman's. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Still haven't it's, seen that movie. And it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't oh. care if some FNAF fan watches this. I don't care if you find me and kill me for saying that. 
go ahead. <laughs> Please do, and you can take a spot on the channel. Oh god, don't tell people that. <laughs> <laughs> if we, we ever it. got popular, people will find this video and be and like realize, oh. <laughs> Also, there was the snake. Yep. And it's this the same boss. one for forces. Hey, guess what, guys? It's time for another shitty Sonic boss. Actually, I don't think this one's too bad. I kind of like this one. You have, like, so long in between each hit. <laughs> yeah, but it's easy, so it's fun. It's easy, so it's boring. Because <laughs> you're just standing there waiting to hit him. Listen, of all the bosses in this, this one at least didn't kill me, so I can stand it. I don't know if the boss didn't kill me is a good thing, necessarily. In a Sonic game, it is. I watched a video, and I kind of agree with it. I kind of, like... Sonic doesn't need boss fights. You shut uh, your fucking mouth. You could have, like, stuff like the Generations Perfect Chaos fight, where it's just a level. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, that would be way more fun in a game. Especially so, you know, like this. What about stuff like Adventure in Unleashed, where you have different play styles that can accommodate for bosses better than Sonic style? You still have Sonic fighting bosses. I mean, I don't <laughs> think the boost bosses are particularly bad. I like the I do like the bosses in Unleashed in uh, Generations. I mean, runner bosses make sense for Sonic. We, like, like, that's fine. So Sonic can have boss fights. Yeah, but like... If it's just runner bosses, it gets boring. Like, I don't know, all the bosses in Unleashed, when you're boosting, are just the fucking same thing. Pretty well, much. Well, that's why we don't have boost bosses anymore. That's why we're not gonna have fucking boost games anymore. <laughs> yeah, and I'm here for Frontiers. I liked it. Frontiers is a boost game. And it does have a boost, boost boss. Game. It's called the fucking Squid. Okay, he was in the air. I feel like I should have been able to bounce him in for a double hit there. But nope. You can only do it when they're first jumping out of the ground because yeah. this game cannot let you have fun. <laughs> <laughs> also, you can't use the Emerald Powers here to your exploitation. Well, yeah, because he's, he's in the background. Well, actually, you might be able Dear to God. use the uh, blue one while he's doing that flip and jumping through the ground. But otherwise... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Look suddenly the platform's back. Don't worry about it. They don't want you to die like in Sandopolis. You know, this level reminds me a lot of uh, Desert Dazzle, the cut CD stage, which already Sonic Mania was aping that with uh, Mirage Saloon. Oh, and hey, this looks like Mirage Saloon. Go figure. Yeah. <laughs> it's Mirage Saloon without the saloon stuff. Oh, boy. What's that sound? Uh, it's the you don't war. have to wait for next part. <laughs> I won't be so. I will not be here for the next part, guys. Uh, Crazy Armor, you have fun. You got this. <laughs> it's gonna be me playing gotcha games while this is on in the background. <laughs> wow, you're so good at solo commentary, man. Well, you see, that's what you're here for. <laughs> yeah. I can't do this without you, man. Sure, you can. You did it with Dark Souls. I thought, uh, yeah, yeah. I just kind of mumbled and said <laughs> something about the lighter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Go watch the part. It's really, really bad. Oh god! <laughs> it's the last part of Dark Souls, and I fl and I fucked it. <laughs> I'm working with an amateur here. God, we're both amateurs. We're not paid. <laughs> I, I I'm not talking. I'm just talking about skill level. Fucking fucking amateur bitch. Fucking amateur does not doesn't, describe skill does, level. Doesn't know how to fucking uh doesn't know how the to correct fucking, term is uh, beta. put a fade transition, doesn't know how what a cross fade is, doesn't know doesn't know how to dip to black. Fucking nope. just fucking You never taught me anything. <laughs> you told me to look up a quick tutorial. <laughs> you can do that still. It's a fucking easy thing to do. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> what the fuck? 